when you were going into WrestleMania for your title match, obviously you, you walked away with the title, but uh, there was a lot more attention on you winning the title, feeling like this was your moment versus, you know, EO being the champion. I feel like there's a similar dynamic now where people are like getting behind Nia. It's her time. Some, but obviously you still have your fans, but I feel like there's this almost like challenger's advantage sort of like with people saying like it's her time and she's due and she's improving and those are all good things yeah. you want to hear as a competitor but how do you feel about that feeling like you know you're the champion you should have that advantage uh, well for one i i i love an underdog you know and i think it's easy to cheer for an underdog if that's what people are like oh shit, it's her time um and i like it i like i think it's cool for everybody to want different things you know and um to me it's just like well if she's getting better then watch me beat her you know if she's if she's improving so much then watch how much better i am than her um i i think it's interesting i think you know we as wrestling fans always go back and forth it's like you want what you can't have type thing um, and it's only natural but uh yeah i don't think it, it doesn't really affect me too much um I would say for me, when I was going into WrestleMania or the Royal Rumble, when people were actually wanting me to win, that did actually boost confidence, you know, and it did make me feel like, hey, maybe I do deserve it. Maybe it's not just me and my mirror telling myself these things, you know, it's like they actually see it just shows how observant our wrestling fans are and everything.